Hey, what's going on guys? Joe and John here with sandblastingmachines.com and today we're going to be going over our chart that allows you to find out what your compressed air requirements are as well as how much abrasive you're going to consume when you're sandblasting. So right off the bat, all the time, I hear John on the phone, he's talking about air, he's talking about <laughs> pressure, he's talking about compressors, and we have this handy little chart that I think would be great if he would help break down for us today. So really, I mean, John, what's one common question that someone can ask you that can help us really break down this chart and understand what these numbers mean? So typically, you know, when a customer calls me, uh, they, they need to know something. They usually know what their application is going to be, or they might know their air compressor size, or their nozzle is. what their nozzle already is, and then we compare everything up for them. Okay. Um, but a, a good example is maybe somebody new to the business just getting into it. So, right. you know, I would get the, I would ask them a question, what's your application? And for example, you know, somebody may be doing some heavy equipment, uh, blasting old equipment or trailers and things like that. We would go ahead and pair them up with a, a blast machine with a decent sized nozzle because okay. it's the nozzle that's going to give us our air requirement. Right, okay. So uh, one of the, some of the packages we have out there will come with a number five nozzle. So it's going to have everything they need to blast with a number five nozzle. Right. Now, key question, how much air do I need? Right. You know, they may be still in the market for a, a compressor or they may already have a compressor. But in this case, let's, let's say they, they're in the market for a compressor, so they're going to pair it up themselves. So looking at the chart, um, you go down to the number five nozzle on the left-hand side, right. which is your 516s. And then working your way to the right, typical blast pressure of 90 PSI. That is, that is what we consider to be optimal blast pressure. Sweet spot. Sweet spot. You're right in the middle of the chart looking at that. Uh, you're going to see the number 126. 126, if you just look all the way over to the very right column, is your air requirement in CFM. So CFM being cubic feet a minute. Right. So a number five nozzle blasting at 90 PSI will require 126 CFMs of air. And your range for that nozzle will be down to 77 cubic feet per minute all the way up to 188. So it leaves you a lot of flexibility depending on what type of PSI you want to blast Absolutely. Yeah. Right, right. yeah, minimum blast pressure. So looking at the pressure side, minimum blast pressure to uh, run one of these machines is going to be 50 PSI. So okay. that's why the chart starts with that number. And then they're rated out to 150 PSI. Uh, of course, we don't want your maximum, your maximum rating out on the chart. So we're going right. to give you numbers up to 140 PSI. So, uh, and then, uh, you know, one of the other ways uh, people might come in, I get this call a lot where they say, I need a nozzle. I say, well, what, what size do you have? I don't know. I need to know something from them. So I'm going to say, well, what's your compressor size? What kind of volume of air do you got? Okay. And a real common one out there in the industry is a 185. They say, oh, I got, an, I got a 185. Okay. So I'll say, oh, okay. Well, knowing that, I could actually work backwards on this chart. Okay. Um, I could kind of go down the chart. And if you'll notice that the number four nozzle, uh, quarter inch, work your way all the way over to the right maxed out at 140 PSI uh, is only going to require 110 CFM. So I know their air compressor is a 185. It can push way more than a number four nozzle. Correct. They're going to comfortably be able to run a number four. Um, if you step up, say, to the number five nozzle, working our way down on the left, and again, working our way over to the right, we're going to max out that nozzle at about 168 CFM. We're, we only have 185 CFM to work with, um, and this is going to require 188 at 140. So. Okay we may just be maxing out our compressor at that. Right, and I always try to advise customers to not limit themselves because, you know, maybe for the application they're working on right now, the 90 PSI is working or the 100 PSI is working, but there may come a day where they want to max that thing out yeah. and they're not going to have the air though because their nozzle is just too big. Right, all right, perfect. So yeah, that's a good example of when you might want to step down to the number four and just be able to have that flexibility. Right, full, full range of the nozzle. All right, John, well, that was a great explanation. I hope to help you guys identify what type of compressor or what type of nozzle you're gonna need for your blasting application. You can find these in the nozzle section under information and guides on sandblastingmachines.com. And if you have any other questions, John, like I said, is always on the phone answering these questions. He'll be more than happy to help. But for John, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching.